I'll repeat after me. I, Richard Sarles, I, Richard Sarles do, hereby solemnly swear do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the provisions of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority Compact. And the provisions of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority Compact. That's the hard one. And, <laughs> and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And perform all duties. And perform all duties. Incumbent upon me as general manager and chief executive officer. Of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. Of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Mr. Sarles, and we are very happy to have you with us. Thank you all for those very kind comments, and I. Uh, <clears throat> I appreciate the vote of confidence that uh, you have given me. And it's truly a privilege to lead America's transit system. And it's also a privilege to represent the 10,000 employees, men and women of Metro, who with, with whom I share a commitment to both public transit and public service. I came to Metro as an interim general manager simply wanting to help out. We have, we have made progress over the last 10 months and I stress the word we, because it's taken a lot of hard work and commitment from many people to get us launched in the right direction. From the partnerships with the board and executive leadership, to the frontline staff operating the trains, the buses, serving the Metro Access customers. It has taken a team effort to lay the groundwork for improving safety, reliability, and financial stability. Besides the members of the Metro family, we have had been fortunate to have the support of the region's elected officials, including our congressional delegation, members of the business community, and oversight groups such as the NTSB and ATOC, and our very own customers, who have shown great patience and understanding as we've taken the needed steps to improve. Over the last 10 months, I have seen what we can do by working together, but even more so, I see what is possible for the future which is why I'm here today, really. We're putting building blocks in place, making safety investments, improving our tracks and rail system, putting new buses into service, expanding staff training, and designing rail cars. While it may not be immediately evident, and there are inconveniences along the way, we're literally, literally building a new metro system for our customers and employees. With a 40-year transportation career and as a transit rider for over 60 years, starting out when I was a young boy, I could not pass up the opportunity to stay here. Just as transportation has been a constant in my life, I've also been guided by the Athenian Oath, which I have always tried to live up to. And while it comes from ancient Greece, it can never go out of fashion. It is simply a commitment to leave this place better than I found it which is my pledge to everyone here at Metro. When I look back on the progress we have made, the move towards new 7,000 series cars, the capital management program, the escalator rehab and replacement program, creation of the vital signs report, the massive state of good repair efforts now taking place on the system, I'm struck not only by the effective leadership of the team in this room, but more importantly by the men and women who are working so hard around the system. Even so, we still have a big job ahead but I will tell you that I was out just a couple of Saturdays ago watching the major track work at Foggy Bottom Station. I was proud of the work that our employees are doing. It's the nuts and bolts of rebuilding the system. Seeing the level of effort out there reminded me of Teddy Roosevelt's admonition that it's far better to dare mighty things than to sit idly by and risk nothing, gaining nothing. The entire Metro family of employees is daring mighty things, and I want to take this opportunity today to thank them. And that concludes my remarks. <laughs>